Pitchfork, the magic place of reviews. It's like IGN, but for music. Um, there's some really good reviews, and just like IGN, there's some really shitty, really bad reviews, and they should be taken off the platform. They should be fired. They should not have a job at Pitchfork. And today, we're going to be looking at those reviews, talk shit, have some fun, get some popcorn. Um, yeah. You know, it's been a minute that I haven't recorded a video because I got a new haircut and you feel me? Bitch, about to take a nigga bitch with this haircut. Come here. Hey, look, Future, I never liked you, right? That, that album was good. This thing keeps fucking slipping. That album was good. I don't know what you what, what anybody has to say. You're wrong if you think Future's a bad artist. Future's an incredible artist. The toxic King, okay? Coding Crazy is like top 10. The Percocet and the Stripper. Um, 7, 12 p.m. That's a fucking very good song off this album. Um, Wait For You, you know, classic. Drake, you know. Um, um, Chickens of ESTG, amazing, terrific, you know. A lot of good songs on this album. But let's say what Alfazo see. Uh, um, hey, um, editing Luches here. It, it sounds very goofy, but like, what I was trying to say is that since I Never Liked You is considered a 6, that's an L take because I think I Never Liked You is like an 8, 8.5, you know? And I just needed something to um, kind of merge the next clip, which um, you'll, you'll see now. Don Tolliver, Life of a Don. Don Tolliver. I really like Don Tolliver. I think that he's a really good artist, you know? And... Yeah, you know, I think he's an amazing artist. For a 7.2, it's very valid. Because I don't think Life of a Dawn can compare to um, um, Heaven or Hell. I really think Heaven or Hell is better than Life of a Dawn. In fact, let's see. Let's see what Alfonso... Al, 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 Alfon, Alfonso? I mean, that may be the only apology I'm given. Is for his me messing up his name so bad. But like... It's not my fault. 6.1 so this is my issue here right okay let's read this like let's read the caption right the melodic texas rapper attempts to step out of travis scott's shadow with a debut that mimics scott at every turn no no you just you're simply incorrect you're saying tracks like after party cardigan how is it sounding like travis how? It doesn't. In fact, I feel like it's better than Travis. It kind of is, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see him with the trumpets. I don't see Travis with the trumpets, bro. Like, don't play. Okay. Okay. Simple as that. Um. Um. This will be a brief moment where I say you should like and subscribe. You know, if I do do more of these, you know. Um, it would be nice to just like do more of these videos. I feel like if I found more outrageous takes, it would be easier to do. But since we're kind of just going through it, I just kind of have to chop it up. It's a little longer. So um, like, subscribe, you know, subscribe. Like if we get a 20 likes, um, I'll actually find like actual bad takes. Okay. And I'll make a part two. I think that's, I think that's a valid deal. 20 likes. That's valid. Let's make that up. I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Let me handle my business. Damn. Um, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, I want to do Baby Keem. I think. Now they only have a melodic. Book. So. Six point four. Okay. The coups of issues and sixteen sound like leftover reference tracks from Drake's certified lover boy sessions. While Range Brothers is a stab at Travis Scott's style, bombastic, complete, complete with multiple beat switches and glossy mixing. Now, Range Brothers is not really talking shit, but like, really? Top of the morning, 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 top of the morning. Top of the morning, top of the morning it's not fucking Travis. Do rag activity sounds very like a Travis and Baby Keem production, because it's a Baby Keem and Travis Scott track. You could said you could have talked some shit about that, and I would have fucking corrected you again. Why give it a six point three? Why why are you giving this shit a six point three? It's like two two tracks that are like okay, they're not that bad, but still 
2.6 isn't like or 6.4 is not even like it, it doesn't make sense you're whack Al Alfonso Green or Dylan Green Dylan Green but I think he's Bob Dylan when it's right Jid a 7.3 this is wrong. I, I don't know because if everybody... I agree that Grammy-wise, I think this was album of the year contender. The Forever Story is amazing. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't even mention 2000, 2007, you know? Which is the funnier part, you know? So we're going to look at it real quick. By creating... Yeah, this isn't like a fucking... This doesn't say anything. It really... It's not talking shit about Jid. It just... You're not giving a you're not giving a reason why it deserves a 7.3. It deserves it deserves a lot more than a fucking 7.3. If it's album of the year, it's a 9.5. It's a nine. No, okay. Season them isn't that good. I'm gonna be honest, but for story sake, it kind of helps. 2007. I know demo they didn't mention 2007. So yes, this is a wrong fucking review. Dylan Green, fuck you. Yes. Yes, this is this wrong for album of the year. Seven point three is incorrect. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey! Right now, right? I'm editing the fucking video right now. The video is gonna come out like in a day or two, right? It's like it's on. It's today's Friday. And tell me why the fuck they put scaring the hose at a seven point one? A seven point one? No, a seven point one's like the little fucking bro. They put seven point one that little Yachty album, bro. What the fuck? That shit's a fucking amazing ass album. What you mean you're gonna put it out at 7.1? No. No. Pitchfork, you're fucking. You're dumb. You're stupid. No. Thank you for um, um, 350 subscribers. Basically, um, I wanted to do that part. Also, there's a beat on this, like, on this video. There's a beat that plays a lot. And you may be like, oh, um, I never heard this beat before, right? Because I made it. I made the fucking beat. It's a nice jazz beat. Um, and yeah, I'll be releasing it in like a couple days for free and shit. I don't really care about it. I just want to show that I actually make music and shit. For, or I make beats and shit. Just like to remind motherfuckers and shit. Yes, um, it's been a good minute of me just talking, talking shit. We, talk, we had a couple good albums. I'm going to chop it up. Um, yeah, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the video of uh, you watching the video. Um, 300 subscribers, I appreciate you all. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, like, comment, subscribe. Comment what fucking album takes I should be doing the next video. Like I said, 20, 30 likes. I'll probably do a part two on this, you know? Why not? Okay. Peace out. It's been Luches.